everyone, I have just been sent this book today in the post and uh, I'm excited to have a little look through and uh, see what it's like. Um, I've not had any books by Teresa Goodridge before but they do come highly rated so that's nice. Um, also I don't know who it was from so thank you to whoever it was. If I haven't discovered you who you were by the time the video comes out. Thank you so much. Um, let's have a little look through. So Creative Heaven, Haven, sorry, Autumn Harvest Colouring Book. Interesting, Autumn not Fall, but colouring's about the American way. It just interests me. So shiny cover. I haven't got my lamp on. There you go, look, you can see from the window. And it's not a massively thick book, but it's a decent size. And uh, we have a bit on the back. It says this festive collection of 31 charming illustrations celebrates the joy of the fall season as the American. The beautiful scenes feature picturesque images of idyllic country landscapes, harvest wreaths, decorating, decorative, decorative Halloween displays, cheery pumpkins, sunflowers and mums, plus cute scarecrows and gnomes. Relax and enjoy bringing these creative designs to life with vibrant colours. I don't understand mums. What's that? I don't know. We'll find out. So that is that one. So let's have a little look. I do love autumn. It's a lovely month. Very colourful. Oops, there we go. So that's good. Oops. So we've got a coloured page here, which is very pretty. A very pretty little heart. Hello, autumn sunflowers and pumpkins and things. Pumpkin pie, presumably there. And here we have the front. Now, the pages are interestingly perforated. So presumably that means you can rip them out and frame them if you want to. You probably wouldn't want to with this page, but you might with the others. That's interesting. It feels quite toothy. I had a quick feel when I was choosing pencils because I'm going to colour a little bit. And I thought, oh, toothy. I was going to use my Chroma Flows, but in my experience, although I haven't tried with Chroma Flows, Derwent pencils don't really like toothy paper. You have to burnish it. So I've picked a different pencil, which I think might work better. But we'll have a play and we'll see. So we've got a cute little page, a little girl picking some apples. Now, what's it say here? Welcome Autumn with the 31 heartwarming images in this charming book. I think it says it's not exactly the same. The season beckons with pumpkin patches, apple picking, home baked pies and cookies, festive Halloween scenes and even an array of autumn leaves to which you can add stunning fall colours. Lovely. The picturesque country settings reveal the beauty that accompanies the chill in the air when it's time to grab a shawl or sweater. Oh yeah. The illustrations are printed on one side only and the pages are perforated for easy removal and display. Of course, there are also advantages to one side only, which means you can use markers, even alcohol markers, <coughs> as long as you put something between. I would always, um, I've actually got some A, um, sort of A4 size laminated sheets, which I put between pages if I'm using markers. I don't have alcohol markers, but I have one. Um, but just to make sure that any wet, I do it when I'm um, using um, watercolour pencils too, it doesn't go through. So our first picture, which you've probably been studying and I haven't because I've been yapping, um, we have a very cute gnome um, with happy four leaves, sunflower, all the lovely things, pumpkins, mushrooms, all very pretty different details. What I'm noticing is that the outlines of items are quite thick and then we've got slightly lighter inside um, detailing, which is interesting. Um, Johanna Basford sometimes does that with items not quite as accentuated. Is that the right word? Obvious? That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, interesting. Uh, here is the page from here. This is this page. I should put you in the middle a little bit. So we've got a whole scene going on, a baking, lovely. Now I'm absolutely rubbish at making pastry, but maybe I can cover it. <laughs> never know. So we have a pumpkin patch, pumpkins for sale. We do here in the UK, we're just starting to take off a little bit, where you go and pick pumpkins, that's fine, but having photos and making an occasion of it and that sort of thing is starting to come off. And we've got our sunflowers and the sort of different shaped um, squashes, things like that. And we've got a typical American looking barn, which is rather fun. I do like this one. So we've got a door, so we've got can do a sort of wood effect. You've got your sunflowers, you've got your pumpkin berries. 
course I love berries so and a sort of tartan look ribbon there that's and uh you've got this sort of bit here which is your sort of plait of wreath which you could possibly match in with this I like that a lot very nice and here we have an array of items so we have this hat I don't know what this hat is it's I see it in American pictures I've got no clue but yeah that's fine I assume it's black I don't even know that I could would you look up autumn hat <laughs> I don't know I would find a way I uh, have to be pumpkin someone tell me what color is it <laughs> uh, pie and apples nice flower a sort of cornucopia there and is there grapes maybe pumpkin pie never had pumpkin pie just wondering whether I would benefit from putting my lamp on. I can see better. So anyway, so we've got a shop, a village gardens, organic, local and fresh. Got a wreath here, open sign, got all florals and mums. So these are chrysanthemums, presumably. So maybe these aren't, are they not, they look like sunflowers, but they're too small. I don't know. But chrysanthemums, do they look like that in the middle? I thought they were more those ball things. Was that dahlias? Maybe I'm getting confused. Aha. So we have mugs of, I'd say hot chocolate, but pumpkin spice latte maybe? I don't know. A sort of, that looks like almost like holly, but I wouldn't do it like holly because we're not quite into winter yet, are we? And a table. We've got all these cookies, decorated cookies. We've got the hat again. What's the hat? What's the hat? <laughs> <laughs> pumpkins and they're going that so it looks like a chrysanthemum to me that looks more like a sunflower that's fun oh so we've got our sort of a pumpkin person which is happy halloween that's a witch's hat is that what that other one was so we've got a moon and bats and things. So we're moving into more Halloween. Oh, it's a Halloween cauldron look with all our candies in. It's fun. I don't like Halloween, um, but I don't mind colouring. I think that's fun. Fun to colour. So, um, and I don't do trick or treating myself. It doesn't mean I don't like, I like colouring candies. Fun. So we've got a pumpkin patch again. These flowers. Again, I'm thinking sunflowers. I don't know. But are they chrysanthemums? does it matter got a fun little house trees and things oh farmers market so we've got I'm thinking ears of corn loads of pumpkins apples a dollar per pound <laughs> that's fun basket I like coloring baskets that's rather fun now pumpkin patch apple picking so we've got some scarecrows apples got nice florals you can do whatever you like i'm thinking orange flowers or reds things nice autumnal shades hello autumn <laughs> spice apple cider sunflower oil i guess yeah from the sunflowers makes sense we've got more more sort of squashes broccoli garlic peas strawberry jam pears and apples harvest red is that a wine? I'm guessing. Good grapes. Uh, pumpkin pie and things. Ooh. Oh, look at that bread. It's nice. Oh, a little cat in a barrel. So we're kind of trying to catch the leaves. That's cute, isn't it? Give thanks. Well, I'm assuming we're here Thanksgiving time. Um, of course, we don't do that here in the UK, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, a name. I think we should be giving thanks that's absolutely fine lovely berries as well candle oh, got a wooden wheelbarrow looks very old-fashioned to me and uh, what have we got in there we've got pumpkin giant giant sunflowers and i would probably do these as like maize you know that sort of thing it, and some little flower, florals a horse Nice wooden wheel to colour, that'd be fun. Um, rake and pumpkin. Got more of these. I'm just thinking corn, maize sort of thing. Flowers. Got the ears of corn as well, like the horses. Some small details at the back here, a little windmill. 
houses and carts and things, but you could always silhouette them against the sort of sunrise or something if it's too small. Oh, picnic time. I had a picnic today. I'll tell you about it in another video, or maybe in a minute. Um, so I've got mountains and houses, yeah. Nice woolly warm sweaters. I felt like I needed one today, and it's August. <sighs> favourite colour is October, that is funny. So we've got a nice border of various um, florals and different things. Oh, is this, this is the one from here. Yes, yeah, so that's a smaller version of this. So uh, she's picking the apples, we've seen that one. Oh, now we're getting a bit more Halloween-y, but I'm okay with cutesy. So we've got cutesy, cutesy gnome and bat and little tree with owl and cauldron. It's nice because you can do it still bright. It doesn't have to be. I mean, this background could be quite dark, but it's night time. You can do a sort of purpley, pinky. You don't have to do it black. And a cat. So you probably do a black cat. This is that time of year. It's a pretty house. Splendor. It's got a little tartan ribbon. I'm not sure what that circle is. I'm trying to work out what this looks like because I'm sort of hot. It's got like a saucer. And we've got, it's like a harvest festival really, isn't it? All the harvest items. Do you do that in the USA? Yeah. Pumpkin. Everything pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin spice. We've got our pumpkin spice latte. We've got pumpkin cake, pie. I wonder what that cupcake That's interesting. I can do all sorts of autumnal leaf colours. Oh, now we're back to Halloween. But we've got a nice little floppy hat. Trick or treat. Little spider. I'm not scared of spiders, don't worry me. And uh, little creepy crawlies. They're all fine. And it says fall here. So we've got someone's decorated their house. I've got their dog. Um, sort of for this time of year, it's got scarecrow and all sorts of things. Got a lot of similar things going on in the pictures, but gives you lots of opportunities to keep colouring the lovely things. Oh, this is a bit different, isn't it? It's sweater weather. Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a hot spell again soon before it gets properly cold. So those are all fun, different designs. Oh, so we have a, a swing seat on a porch, I'm assuming. A lovely big basket of florals and then sort of border. I guess they pin this up on the top of their porch, decorated. There's a lot of things. I wouldn't want mine to be that cluttery with stuff. It's fun to colour. There. A little outside table. So have a rug. So it's actually laid out. You can see the napkins and the glasses. That's rather sweet. All the lanterns and the pumpkins and things hanging from the tree. Oh. It's very sweet. Welcome to our pumpkin patch. A nice tractor. Pies. Barn. Or house. I don't know. Gather. So this has got a lovely fire. Blankets. Cosy. Lovely cosy candles and things. You could always draw a flame on. It's probably easier not to. You don't have to worry about that. It's lovely. All those berries as well. And here we have, it says, Fall Festival, Pumpkin Patch, Apple Cider, Corn Maze, Hay Rides, Mums and Homemade Quilts for sale. So we've got some of the quilts here, on there, and the flowers and things, and obviously pumpkins and chicken too. Oh, and there is the picture coloured look on the back, so we can pinch some ideas. I quite like it not being opposite, sometimes they're opposite and then you want to copy exactly, but I think it's quite nice you can pinch a few ideas but do your own thing as well. So that's rather sweet, I like those colours though, I might have to do it the same. <laughs> so there we go, so that's a lovely book. What I'm going to do is do a little bit of colouring in here. I, there was the page where there were various items on this one. I think this is quite a good one because we've got quite a selection of things and I'm just going to pick a few things. Now I grabbed my Stedler um, Design Journey pencil, just trying to make a bit of space on the desk because I've got another set of pencils on the other side. And I'm going to colour the hat because I've got no clue. Oh, someone's banging on the wall next door. 
probably plugging something in. So I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of paper um, behind the page there, just to. Now, interestingly, looking at the size of this book, this is the typical A4 paper, and it's a little bit big, which is fine. So the book is slightly smaller than the A4. So for anyone in the UK that knows about A4, you can see it's very slightly smaller. Right, what should we colour? Mm. Um, I think we ought to do um, a pumpkin. We'll do down here. I'll come in a bit closer. Let's just make a bit of room. Come in a bit closer to this little patch down here. This little group. We'll, do, we'll start with a pumpkin. I'll just do a little bit. I'm not going to do it all. Um, I think I'll just start with my darkest. This one. This looks quite orange. This is number two. I think it's quite red. And I'm trying to think about the shape of our pumpkin with these lines and things. Um, this one's easier for me. I'm going to do this one. So let's start with our red. Now I'm going up and down a little bit to layer it down a bit. Uh, I know this is a bit red. But I'll be going over it with some orange in a minute. I'm just going to see how it all layers up really. I'm just going to put a lighter layer just inside there. Do the same thing here. Now it's a little bit early for autumn colouring. Um, so I probably won't do anything much from this book until we get a little bit close to autumn. It is well on the way, hurrah. So, uh, um, yeah, so we might have to wait a bit, but, that's, but I will do some. Here is number 24. So, you know, I might finish this page, for example, and do a few different autumnal bits and pieces. This all looks a bit red, doesn't it? It's a bit too red for a pumpkin. Get there. Let's see how many layers we can get to go on top. It's layering up pretty well, I think, because it's quite toothy. It means you can get quite a bit in there does mean it will eat up. Um, do you have to be careful if you're using alcohol markers, for example, um, number four. Um, I'm going to go over all this, try and lighten it just a bit. Um, that's better. It's coming along already. Um, if you use alcohol markers, you'll find that, um, that a toothy paper will sort of eat away at the fibre tip. So you have to be careful because you can ruin them before they run out, which isn't ideal. But I guess if you've got some that you know are coming near to running out, then maybe use those. But um, it can be quite tricky. I've done it myself um, where I was using... What was I using? I used some... And number 42 has probably been my last one. I'm not sure yet. I was using... Um... um some watercolour pencils in a book and I wanted to, I wetted them with my Caran d'Ache um, water pen, water brush, I don't know what you call it, the ones with the reservoir of water in and it, I, mine's got a sort of fibre tip and uh, it, the nib got completely wrecked which for a car, when you're using a Caran d'Ache product it's a bit sad I'm going to use this one seven, it's a brown, so I want to put a bit of shadow behind this line here. Now, Stedlers aren't too vibrant, so I'm not sure, I thought I might not be able to get much in there, but there's a bit there. Now, the stalk stem. Oh, I've missed a bit. Mm. Let's just... <laughs> That's careless. I'm just going back through the same colours. Yeah, I think these pencils are going down pretty well. There's paper, especially considering I haven't sharpened them. They're quite blunt. I may have chosen a bit too much red, but you know, 
that's my fault, not the fault with the pencil. Now, what colour are we going to do for that stem? I'm never sure what to do for the pumpkin. Um, I might go for this. Is that 579? Just looking at my swatch chart, 57 I'm looking for actually. That one. We'll try this. 57. I'm going to put down a fairly even layer and then I will darken it up with something. I'm never quite sure what colour pumpkin stalks stems are. Oh, we'll see. And this green 579. Now that paper's worked quite well with these pencils, I have to say. I'm going to try a different brand of pencil though because I happen to have one I thought it might be useful so I've got some polychromos on my other side so maybe I'll just do I do a pair of polychromos this is my earth green yellowish oh, let's go down a tree yeah it's quite toothy but means I'm going to get some more layers down, which is what I want, because this is just my initial layer. I'm going to grab this permanent green olive. Oh, which way is it there? <laughs> See, so put a bit of darker colour on this side. Oh, that's going down lovely. Red. Mm, no, a little bit of. Let's use a bit of sanguine to just go here. Dog crying outside. Just a bit of colour on them. Like that. I might have to do the other one as well, else I'm going to forget how I did it. I'm enjoying it. Having fun. But it can't be too long. I've got some other stuff to do. I'm not telling you what I'm doing. It's not really a colour wrong. Let's just try out the page. This is the permanent green olive. And then I'm going to put a little touch of sanguine up here on this one. So I want to put a bit of shadow in there with a bit of dark sepia. There we go. Um, now we're going to do a bit. Um, maybe I'll put a bit of shadow there as well. Um, what should we do? The stem in a burnt umber. Okay. The leaf. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to actually use the permanent green olive. I don't know what colour they should be. It's quite dark. Just gonna layer it up a bit. There we go. So there's a pumpkin and some pears, a little bit for you. Now what I'm gonna do is these two white shiny bits. I'm just gonna go over with my oh sorry, with my jelly roll eight. That was a big bang. It was stuck underneath my tin. I'd like to white out those black lines because I think they look a bit odd. I don't really find the pairs are usually very shiny. But there we go, that's better. So, so there is the little bit that we've done. Now the texture in the paper actually adds to the texture, make the pair look a bit textured, but might be trick if you want something really shiny. But anyway. 
there we go. So uh, that is that, and what a lovely book it is. And I have a feeling I might know who it is from. Hmm, I have an inkling. But anyway, um, thank you very much to the lovely person that sent this. It is a lovely book, very cute, and very much um, very fun. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, the in the description I will put a note of the pencils that I've used but also um, a link to the book so if you want to have a look at it in more detail um, on Amazon there will be a link there for it gosh it's raining anyway <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching have a super day and happy covering <laughs>